right, so Brandon Staley got fired, yada yada. Who's going to replace him? So I put together a list of five of the most likeliest candidates, including one who I think would be a huge disaster. But we'll get to that in a sec. First, I want to talk a little about Brandon Staley because I feel like looking over his strengths and weaknesses will probably better inform who should be the next coach. You know, learn from history. If there's one thing that's certain about the Chargers, they've been repeating history in that doomed kind of way. To be honest, I kind of feel bad about the brand Staley firing because he seems like a nice guy. But that nice guy thing doesn't really go well with football coach. There definitely was too much of a country club atmosphere with the Chargers. And at times, Staley was picking up after his players. He seemed well liked during most points of his tenure, but that didn't stop them from seemingly quitting on him. And it goes to show, it doesn't matter how much players like you, you still have to put them in a position to win ball games. But for as nice of a guy as he came off as, he also seemed really stubborn. Like his insistence to play a defense that didn't really suit his players. Hey Mike Davis, you're really good at press man. Why don't you play off coverage, even in crucial third down situations? But arguably, the biggest problem with the Staley experience was how all over the place everything was. He kept talking about how he wanted to marry the run of the pass game, which was code for a Shanahan McVay style offense. Then he hired Joe Lombardi, who ran a West Coast offense in the style of Sean Payton. And then we replaced Lombardi with Kellen Moore. He kept Lombardi's offensive line coach, who was a Saints holdover. There never was a distinct vision on offense, and it showed. So to sum it up, the next coach should be someone who actually brings some semblance of a philosophy is willing to make adjustments, even if it means hurting his ego, and toughens things up team culture-wise. Jim Harbaugh probably is the best candidate overall. Not only was he successful as an NFL coach, he's also been successful as a college coach, and he showed he wasn't intimidated going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bill Belichick. But even with the scandal going on, it's still gonna take a lot of money to lure him over. Are the Chargers willing to pay? I think the money element of the ownership is a little overstated, or at least misunderstood. It's kind of hard to tell considering the way their trust is set up is whether it's Dean Spanos himself or the rest of the family that is the culprit. But even then, it's mostly during the season when money is tied up more. The thing is, before budgets have been spent in the offseason, the charges do throw a lot of money around. So I don't think finding the money to hire Harbaugh will necessarily be a problem. But at the heart of the Spanos issue, which is worthy of a succession like drama. You have certain family members who want to keep the business going and be able to manage it, while others just want to sell it. In other words, Dean and John probably don't want to give up the sort of power that Harbaugh would want. But who knows, maybe playing with Herbert is enticing enough. The most high profile option is obviously Bill Belichick, who is arguably the greatest coach of all time. And yes, he hasn't been good since Tom Brady left, but also Tom Brady would have never existed without him. Basically, every team in the league had like six chances to draft him and didn't. I think it's fair to say that Bill Belichick would be a good shepherd for Herbert as he tries to get to the next level. In particular, he's the best candidate when it comes to getting rid of that country club atmosphere. And I think Herbert needs some help in that regard. He's obviously hardworking, so that's not the issue. But I think the previous coaching staff blew a lot of smoke up his ass. And fair, he was their meal ticket. But Herbert could use somebody who isn't impressed with him or at least give off that vibe. Belichick would famously ream out Brady at every meeting. He would also gush about, amongst other things, how great Ed Reed was, while never really talking about how great Brady was to his face. I think this is sort of kicking the pants that Herbert needs to get to that next level. Obviously, Belichick does have some concerns. His roster management in his later years has been suspect. But I think some of those deficiencies can be glossed over with the fact that he just knows how to manage a game. And with Herbert, I think any roster issues would be mitigated. Out of these five, to be honest, Ben Johnson is my favorite candidate. The Detroit Lions offensive coordinator is probably the most controversial option, at least amongst Chargers Twitter. He kind of fits the cliche of the first time coach would probably be pretty cheap, but that's totally unfair. Mike McCoy was obviously the product of Peyton Manning. That was ridiculous. Anthony Lynn didn't even really run a good NFL offense before getting the coach to Chargers. And Brandon Tilly had the one great year but was only in the NFL for four seasons. Ben Johnson, on the other hand, who funny enough, took over for Anthony Lynn as the coordinator for the Lions back in 2021. 
He's demonstrated now over two and a half years that he's capable of running an NFL offense. For example, his defenses have been seventh in DVOA the last few seasons. And that's with Jared Goff, who was a laughing stock before Ben Johnson resurrected his career. And yes, we haven't seen what he'd be like as a head coach, but I think it's worth the risk to see if he's the next Mike McDaniel. Not to mention he would bring with him a coherent offensive philosophy, one where easy plays are created thanks to the play action. We know that Herbert can step back and dissect a defense, but it'd be nice if the coach made it easier for him instead of just getting him killed on every play. Next up is a guy who I think would be an abject, utter disaster, and that's Dan Quinn. Why is that? That's because Dan Quinn is basically Brandon Staley on Fast Forward. Like Staley, Quinn was hired thanks to his association with a all-time great defense. And like Staley, when he was a head coach, his defense was never good. His only success coming when Kyle Shanahan was his offensive coordinator. And yes, he's remade himself in Dallas like Brandon Staley will have to wherever he goes. But it's a little misleading. His defense hasn't actually been that great. It's dominated against some really bad teams. And since week six, it's basically middle of the road and defensive success rate. But I don't even want to argue that he's necessarily a bad coordinator because I think he's a pretty good one. And I don't think anything about his results really tell me that he really deserves a second chance as a head coach. Most worrisome is that I think if the Chargers don't end up getting Harbaugh, a lot of the fan base doesn't want a first-time head coach and will settle on a guy like Dan Quinn. But unless he's coming with Kyle Shanahan, I'm not into it. And if I want to be hyperbolic, I'd say it's the kind of move that makes Justin Herbert pull in Andrew Luck and retire in a few years. The biggest wild card on this list is Eric Bieniemy, The former Chiefs coordinator and now current Washington football team coordinator would definitely rely on Herbert's arm if he became head coach. As we've seen in his one year calling plays for the Washington football team, he is very indifferent towards the run. And that's with Sam Howell as his quarterback. He's managed to make the fifth round pick look serviceable, all the while dealing with all the insanity that comes with the Washington team. More interestingly, his background with the Chiefs would give the Chargers an interesting leg up in a divisional rivalry. And considering how it's gone, they could use any help in that regard. Most important of all, it would be interesting to see how Herbert would operate in a spread-heavy offense the way Mahomes does. Obviously, the enemy is a bit of a long shot, considering that Washington offense is 23rd in the league right now, according to DVOA. But factoring in that it is with Sam Howell and his back with Mahomes, he would be a very intriguing risk to take. After reviewing a bunch of head coaching candidates, I think one thing is obvious. I think the Chargers have a lot of options regardless of how they want to go, whether it's going back to the first-time coaching pool or getting a more experienced guy. I think having a really hard opinion either way doesn't really make sense. They need to just find the right guy. But considering the way the Chargers organization is set up, that might not happen. If I had my pick, I'd probably go with Harbaugh or Ben Johnson. Who should be the next Chargers head coach? Sean Merriman? Dan Fouts? Matt Moneysmith? Let me know in the comment below. Also, definitely like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.